the first problem the first problem he said there is this uh, hot gases hot gases that's are leaving a, a diesel engine and before he actually send them to the stack he would like to use some of their energy so he's having a water jacket around them so the water is being heated by the diesel exhaust all right so that he can use some of this energy before he basically dump it to the outside all right so as a result of that water jacket the, the surface temperature of the pipe was 180 all right and the exhaust gases are coming at 450 and so this is ti and it's leaving at 250 all right and he said that the velocity here was 7.2 <coughs> meter per second so that's v and the pipe diameter is given right so 15 centimeter pipe and you give us the properties at the average of the inlet and the outlet so we know that if you have a flow in a pipe the properties for the Reynolds and Prandtl and K and all those stuff should be evaluated at TS or TI or TE or T average or T film, which one of those you would pick? T average, right? For internal flow, you probably should pick T average. Except that this is opposite. So the TS is like this, and the guys are coming like this. So this is TI, T exit, and this is T mean, and that's what he did. He already, to make the problem easier on us, but later on in life, you will have to make that decision yourself. You'll have to decide that, well, I need those properties at the average temperature. And you will go to open the table and get rho and Prandtl and K and mu and all those stuff. All right. So what's required? Required is determine the pipe lengths. So the pipe lengths is in the area. So he's basically asking us for the area of the pipe. So that we later we can say that this area is, is by dl and, and get the lengths out of, the, of this equation. So what equation can help us to get the area? Not yet. Before the Nusselt number, the equation that you should think about is Q, Q equal H, H A delta T. That's, so the solution in your head should really start backwards, right? When you think about the solution, you should say, he want the lens, where that lens? It's in the area. I better get him the area. So that would actually be the last step that we are going to write, that the area is by dl, and from that we will get the lens. And then where I'm going to get this area? It must be in the Q equal HA delta T. Right? That's the equation for heat transfer. Q is HA delta T. So I better have my delta T. I have it. He give me the delta T. I better have my H. Right? Where I'm going to get my H? Nusselt number. Right? And then this is a flow over a pipe. This is in, it must be this internal heat transfer, internal convection chapter. So that chapter had laminar pipe, turbulent pipe. So before I, I use the right Nusselt number equation, Nusselt number to come up with the, with the H, I have to decide first the laminar or turbulent, and or basically the Reynolds number. I have to pick the Reynolds number, calculate the Reynolds number, so I can say it's laminar. So then I can say, here is the equation for the nozzle. Therefore, here's my H. Therefore, here's my Q. And here's my area. Okay? So you should think about the solution backward, really. The way that you make the strategy for getting the solution. All right. So now we will go for the renals to tell whether it's lambda or turbulent. So the renals is uh, VD over uh, mu. And this Reynolds number is 19,726. So actually doing, calculating Reynolds number is worth 0.5. All right, so 19,000, that is laminar or turbulent? Yeah. Turbulent, right? Because the uh, laminar finished at 2,300. And above 10,000, that's fully turbulent. 
So we are turbulent. So we jump to get the Nusselt number. So it's HD over K 0.023 uh, Reynolds 0.8 Prandtl 0.3 because the fact that we are cooling the, the fluid. So that step, that equation is worth one point. So now one of you should stop me here and say you have done something wrong. Yeah. Probably. Huh? I'm sorry, that's new. That was new, sorry. No, something else, something else wrong. It's about that formula, correct? What, what, do you what do you don't like about this formula, friend? Huh? No, it should be 0 0.3. Yeah, No, it's something else. So in that chapter, there is something about entrance lens. And there is formulas that basically take into account entrance lens. If the pipe is short, you know, if the pipe is short, the entrance lens, the distance it takes for the boundary layer to establish itself, could be like 50% of the pipe. The heat transfer during this early stage is actually higher than the heat transfer later on. So one should check or assume that the pipe is too long, that this entrance lens is not really that important. And then later on, verify that, yeah, see, it was really long. We shouldn't really care about this guy. All right, so the entrance lens is how much? Does anyone remember? 10D. 10D. So assume long pipe. And later you can check on that, that it's actually higher than 10D. So if it's like 20D, that assumption is not really great, right? But if it turned out to be 100D, right, then it's okay. It turned out it's really, really long, all right? So this guy is not important at all. And you can, you neglect this part compared to the length of the pipe, all right? So we got our Nusselt number, and so the Nusselt number become 56. And from that, you can get your H, because you know the diameter and you know the key, and the H is 17. Uh -huh. The H is 17 watt, 17.7 watt per meter square. All right. And now we are ready for Q equal H A delta T. Right. Q dot is H A delta T, and which delta T you would use? Logarithmic average is more accurate than the mathematical average. You could have said it's TS minus T average. You know, TS is sitting at 180 and T average would be four f it's basically 350. So you would say it's the 350 minus the 180. Well, that's not really that accurate. The accurate way is to say uh, delta T logarithmic average. So we have to get this guy. So this guy would be Delta T1 minus delta T2 over len delta T1 divided by delta T2. And if you notice, delta T1 is the 450 minus the 180. And delta T2 is the 250 minus the 180. So basically, this boils down to the 450 minus the 250. Right? because it's 450 minus 180, and then minus 250 minus the 180. So minus, minus become plus, and the minus cancel with the plus. Anyway, you do it any way you want. I'm just saying the, the top part. So the delta T logarithmic mean turned out to be 148. 148.2 degrees C. So writing this equation for logarithmic mean is worth 0.5. All right. Now, how about the, I cannot get the area yet. I have the H, I have delta T, but I have to have the Q as well. How can I get my Q? And that's the <coughs> right, so Brandon is saying we can get this Q, the Q based on the heat transfer area and the, the heat transfer coefficient is also the same Q going from the hot into the cold. 
so we can get it from the hot side or basically m dot hot cb hot delta t hot right. and that m dot so that's the q and, and this equation is worth uh, one point and also the equation for h e delta t is worth one point and then you realize that well I don't have my m dot I have to get my m dot how can we get my m dot for this pipe right rho v a or rho a v right and that's worth uh, 0.25 And so that M dot become uh, 0 0.07 kilogram per second. And now we are ready. We have our Q. So the, the Q turned out to be uh, 15, 220 watt. Right? So back again into this equation. Now you have the Q, the H delta T. The only thing that's missing is the area. So <coughs> right, so let's think about this. So Jesse is saying about the, the, the sign of the of the Q. So so we know if you're sticking to the thermodynamic uh, sign convention, yes, if you have a control volume and you leave, that Q is negative. Right? But when when you are saying how much Q is being transferred to the cold fluid. You're already indicating the, sig the direction. You don't have to say it's going to be plus or minus. It's that's the, the magnitude, right? When you say how much did the hot fluid lose by by saying lose Q hot, by saying just Q hot, you you know that Q hot is what? It, of course, it's leaving the hot fluid, and therefore you'd say it's T inlet minus T outlet. So this requires you when you are saying then if you are going to put this positive in this delta T logarithmic mean, you better make it also plus the hot minus the cold. Right? I think what the problem I ran into is whenever I did it, I didn't I used the less accurate. I just used the average. T okay. Average. So even with the with the average, you should also stick to hot minus cold. So that you would say Q is in how many plus watts positive value is equal to H A delta T hot minus cold as well. Okay. I think it will not cause you a problem because either way if you want to put it negative on the other side one side you have to put negative on the other side. That's what happened on Right? So that should be okay because eventually we know that the Q is moving from the hot fluid to the cold fluid. We have no question about that. Alright? So now the only thing is missing is the area. We get the area, and the area turned out to be, uh, I don't know. So it's by dl. And from that, so this equation, I the area is by dl. That's worth 0.25. And from that, you get the length as 12.3 meters. And that answer is worth 0.5. So if you screw up the answer for whatever reason, you just lose 0.5. You don't lose anything else. If you have the equation correctly and you just get the answer wrong because you screw up the news number at the beginning or the M dot was wrong or whatever, you lose only 10%. Question about this? 